ready to do this. So, ingredients, all right? Cauliflower, some mustard, and this is just regular yellow mustard, uh, some shallots, fresh thyme, jalapenos, garlic, garlic powder, all right? Onion powder, these are all natural and super potent, all right? Um, and I actually get these from knifeandspoon.com. And yeah, let's get into this, right? And of course we have our oatly milk, which is what we're gonna use for the marinade. So since we're doing this, the first thing we wanna do is get the marinade ready. So that way the cauliflower can just get nice and saturated in this amazing flavor that we're gonna create for it, all right? So right into, you know, a medium size to small mixing bowl. We're gonna add a good bit of milk because we want to submerge the cauliflower into this, right? And we can do this two ways. We can cut steaks um, or we can do florets, all right? So since we're not doing waffles, we're gonna do florets, all right? Because the pancakes will, you know, they're a little bit more delicate than the waffles. So if we were doing waffles, I would totally do steaks because it would be able to withstand it. But since we're doing pancakes, I'm going to just do florets, all right? So now, the easiest way, let's just get into this bag first, all right? And what we want to do is, we want to be very careful, and we want to keep the cauliflower head intact for the most part, all right? So I like to just cut around the stem on the outside, so this way, all of these fall off, right? So you can see what you're working with. And then from there, you can kind of make your cuts for your cauliflower, right? So you want to just, see? So you're just cutting off your florets, right? So you have pieces like this. And then you can always make it small if you want to. But at this point, what we're doing is just, we're just cutting at the stems, and then we're pulling it apart. And you can do this all the way around until you get as many florets as you want. All right, see that? It's awesome. You just wanna be careful when you're using your knife. And as you get to the top and the center, your stems get smaller. So you wanna be very careful as you're using your knife. If you have a really big knife and a big blade, you might cut into more florets that you want. So using a smaller knife lets you have a bit more control into exactly how much of the florets you cut into when you're cutting the stems. See? So it kind of looks like a tree, you know, a palm tree or something. Um, so we got a little bit of florets, so we don't need to do the whole head of cauliflower. Um, so we're going to go with this. And ideally, if you're looking for a floret, that's about this size, right? So. What we want to do is, we are going to leave this on the board for now. Clean up, all right? We always want to work and clean. And then we're going to get the marinade ready. And then we're going to just drop in our cauliflower and let it marinate. All right, so we have our milk. So to our milk, we're going to add about, so in this bowl, I would say I have about two cups of milk, all right? So I'm gonna to add to that about a tablespoon and a half of onion powder, right? And a tablespoon of, garlic powder, all right? That was all of my garlic powder, by the way. But, that goes to show you how much I, how often I use it. So we have our onion powder, garlic powder in there. So to that, I'm gonna add my garlic. One will escape me. So that's just a quick way to peel our garlic, you know, smashing it, because we don't need to worry about the size of these. We're using it as a marinade, so they don't have to be perfect. You just pretty much want them peeled and chopped up. All right, so we have that. Wash our hands a little bit because you know garlic tends to be very sticky. You want to get the heads off. All right. Get rid of these tops. 
And with these, we're gonna just rough chop them. Right? Just like that. Done. Right into the milk. All right? And then now we're gonna do our shallots. We're gonna just, pretty much the same idea. Rough chop shallots, nice and clean. You know, we don't want the really dry outer uh, shells of the shallots because That's it. All right. Add this to the milk. This marinade is gonna be delicious. All right. But what's going into it is gonna be even more delicious. Now we wanna wash our jalapeno. You know we like some heat, of course. So this we're gonna just literally. It because we want everything inside because that's where your heat is. The ribs and the seeds, not the actual pepper itself. Right? So we're gonna just give this a rough chop like that. Nothing fancy. You know, all of this is adding flavor to our marinade. You know what I mean? Alright, so seeds in. Alright, and now for our fresh thyme. Right? I'm gonna just wash these a little. Alright, and with the time, we're gonna just give it a little chop. Nothing crazy. Alright? Like my martial arts instructor says, oh yes! Alrighty, so last ingredient a little bit of mustard. Alright? This is gonna give it a little twang, a little tang, and a little zen zen zen. Alright? Okay. So that's our marinade, ladies and gentlemen. Very quick, very easy, very simple. All right, let me get a spoon, all right? Just mix this up. And give it a smell, of course. Mm. It smells like it's gonna be something amazing. All right, so this is our marinade. So right into here, we're gonna add our jalapenos. So, I almost forgot. Um, so right now, we have our milk, we have jalapenos, we have our shallots, fresh thyme, garlic powder, onion powder, and fresh garlic, right? Now I'm gonna add a little bit of sesame oil, just because we're making a marinade, all right? I wish you could smell this. Mm. All right, so right in here, just like that. Nothing fancy. You're just adding it right into our milk, right? And just use your spoon to kind of make sure that everything gets incorporated, right? You want to make sure that every piece of cauliflower gets wet. Now, this is going to sit here for a little bit, right? Because we want it to really penetrate. Right, we want the florets to really absorb some of this liquid and some of this flavor. So every 15 minutes or so, I'll give it a toss just so the ones that are on top that are not getting touched by the marinade just gets kind of mixed up in there, right? So we're gonna put this to the side so we can work on our garnish, sauce, and pancake bag. So prep for the sauce, all right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna do some shallots, we're gonna do some jalapenos, some scallion whites, all right? We're gonna saute that really quick, and then we're gonna pretty much turn our sauce into that. So we're gonna do some sesame oil, we're gonna do a little bit maple syrup, we're gonna do some chili oil, we're gonna do a little bit of hoisin, um, we're gonna do some uh, scallions. Let's work on the garnishes for the sauce. First up is our shallots. because we are gonna use some really nice chili oil, all right? My local mom chili oil. So you don't need a lot of jalapenos, so that's good. 
right? So maybe about two teaspoons of jalapenos, and then we're gonna get these scallions ready and add just the whites to it. So scallions are nice and clean. I'm gonna just slice these in half lengthwise so it makes the chopping a little quicker, all right? And then we'll just run it through with our knife. And we're done, just like that. All right, add this to our shallots. So we have our shallots, scallion whites, and jalapenos, right, for our sauce. We have our scallion greens for our garnish, and then we have our marinade here, which I'm gonna just give a little bit of a toss, so the ones on the bottom can come to the top, and vice versa, all right? You want to be gentle when you're tossing this so you're not like cutting into it or breaking them, right? Because you don't want little pieces, you want nice solid pieces so they can really get the marinade, they can really um, be breaded nicely so when they fry up, they look like a nice piece of chicken, you know? Um, so for the other ingredients for the sauce, we have our spicy chili, right? Sesame oil. Pancake syrup and poison sauce. All right, these four things are gonna be what we use to make our sauce. All right, and then we're gonna actually just put that in here right now, so we can be ready for the minute of our aromatics are sautéed. All right, so we got, I'd say, a tablespoon of sesame oil. I love sesame. Right? And we're gonna go with a tablespoon of maple syrup, right? And we're gonna use. Get that out. All right. So with our crispy chili oil, we're gonna do. Um, how much we have in there? One teaspoon, two teaspoon, three teaspoons. So about a tablespoon. All right. A tablespoon of chili. That to the side, and then the last of my poison sauce. All right. Now the last ingredient to this, actually, we need to add. We're gonna add some soy sauce, just a little bit. And the soy sauce I'm adding is a premium dark soy. All right. So it's a little richer. It's darker, obviously. It's a little thicker, right? So my sauce just went from like amber, reddish to like really dark, which is fine. Got that. And this stuff, I'm totally cooking it on the fly. I've never done this before. Um, the cauliflower, a variation of it. But this sauce concoction right here, definitely haven't done that before. Um, this is why I'm um, kind of just adding as we go, using different things, um, you know, and that's the cool thing about cooking. You get there, I like to tell people there are no rules. You know, you want to be able to be comfortable, add things that you like, minus things that you don't like. And just keep going like that, and just keep building on that collective of knowledge and information and flavor profile that you build with every recipe that you make. Right, so time to get our waffle mix. Well, correction, time to get our pancake mix. Well. All right, so da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. so happy about this box. All right, so we got our little glass bowl, we got our pancake slash waffle mix. We're gonna add it in here. Man, this is this this smells so good. Alright. Finish. Put that right in there for now. Boom. Right into the garbage. So we're gonna add our milk to this, because that's all we need. We can do water. Actually no. Since we're going chicken and waffles, um, maybe we need water. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll do water. Alright, um, but like I said, you can do milk or you can do water, it's up to you. So we have our mix, ice cold water. Alright, and we're just gonna slowly mix it in. Slowly. Of course, there's a recipe on the back of the box, but being that I've made this recipe so many times and I created the recipe, we can just go by feeling, right? And you can too, once, I mean, the more you cook, the more comfortable you are. You know, you know what you're looking for in your batter. Do you want it to be heavy cream consistency? Do you want it to be uh, funnel cake consistency? Do you want it to be milk consistency? I mean, you pretty much want your pancake mix to be pourable, but not runny, right? So, we're almost there. And the cool thing about this mix, even if you just add water and you don't add like vanilla milk or you don't add almond milk or soy milk or anything like that, the smell is amazing. Alright, I'm not just saying that myself, like literally, I, I'm telling you, the minute you open up your box and you cut open your bag, you're gonna agree with me. It smells like brunch, it smells like heaven. And it smells like a cool Saturday, you know, delicious pastries, you know, some vanilla goodness. You know, it just, it puts me in a happy place. All right, so our batter is almost ready, right? We're gonna make this one slightly thicker because we are doing, you know, chicken and waffles so we don't want our pancake batter to be too thin and we don't want our pancake to be too thin either so this is a real good consistency right here see this all right so i always like to make my pancake batter and let it sit so it can work its magic you never really want to make the pancake batter and as soon as you mix it start cooking give it a second right let them introduce themselves to each other, let them do their thing, and then we come back to make it. All right? Well, our pancake batter is coming together. Let's work on our breadcrumbs. All right? So, we want to just do this is like one of my favorite types, styles of breadcrumbs. It's called panko which is a Japanese style breadcrumbs, all right? And when you say Japanese, think of any Japanese restaurant you've been to or like, um, you know, it's, it's super flaky, super crunchy, super light. Um, it's, if you've ever had katsu, which is a Japanese dish, it's, this is the breading that they use. So you can do um, pork katsu, you can do chicken katsu, different types of katsu. Um, then of course if you're vegan, you're doing, you know, tempura, you're doing vegetable katsu, which would be anything that they would cook and bread with this. But this breadcrumbs is like my go-to, it's my favorite. I don't really like to use seasoned breadcrumbs because I, I like to do the seasoning myself, you know. And then with the seasoned breadcrumbs, the texture is different, flavor is different, but this is neutral, it's clean, and then you, it just gives you if you haven't tried Japanese breadcrumbs, get some and try it. And then message me and tell me how you feel about it, right? So we're gonna put this right into our bowl, right? And we don't need a lot, you know, and we can always add more. So we got that in there. We're gonna hit it with a little bit more of our garlic powder because we wanna make sure that we have seasoning with every single layer of this dish, right? Like, you don't want to leave out anything to chance. I mean, that's the thing about cooking, especially when you're cooking with vegetables. You know, with meat, you just have to add some salt and you're good to go. You know, with vegetables, you also can just add salt, but it just depends on the type of vegetable that you're using. But at the same time, you want to create flavor because the more flavor you can build, the better your dish is going to taste overall, 
and in general. So why not do it, you know? So breadcrumbs is in, salt is going in right now, right? We want to season our breadcrumbs. So it's about a tablespoon, right? And we're gonna just mix this up. And my salt, I actually forgot to tell you, but so this is a salt mixture. So in here I have salt, celery salt, and pepper, right? And then you can just pre-mix this and have it and use it to cook everything that you cook, all right? So our breadcrumbs is ready, cauliflower is ready, pancake batter is ready, we're ready to go. Now the next thing we need to do is have a drink. Hello everybody, welcome back to episode three. Trace. <laughs> the chef and the big maker. Wow. Here we talk about food, drinks, business hacks, and books. books. <laughs> so welcome back, we're excited to be here. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Please. All right. Let's get it popping. What do we have going on here? What are we doing first? What are we doing first? What do we have going on? A drink. Remember we're going to start with yes, a drink? Yes. We, we always want to start with a drink. So yes. let me put this to the side. We got the glasses here, which I just wash these. I'm going to just leave it right here. Right? Yes. Okay. Let me get out this Vito. Please. All right. It's a special Vito. We call this. Why we call this? Jane, tell me. Cheated with beef, 
or chick no chicken ever since I went to the I haven't gone back to chicken in like two years any. Yeah. Two years. But beef a year ago. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Beef, like, this is just nice that we're honest. Beef, hey, yeah, there's nothing wrong with being honest. Fish, I have dibbled and dabbled there a couple of times. Yeah, yeah I gotta be honest. So when yeah. I tasted this, it was like. No, I, I get it. it it's you know, it, it's a nice seared piece of halibut. This is a safe place, guys. This is a safe place. You know, don't you know judge. Saying? Nobody judging nobody. Okay. Let's do it. So, cheers once again. Let's jump right into what we're making today, right? Yes. So what we're making today, originally we were gonna do chicken and waffles, but that didn't happen because I forgot. Not the just waffle. any kind of chicken though. Don't don't you know, talk about fish it, chicken. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna get into it. You know what I mean? I was gonna get into it. So we were gonna do chicken and waffles, but we are plant based. We will never cook meat on this show ever, 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 ever. No. Period. All right. So one, I forgot the waffle machine, so we're doing pancakes today. But two. Instead of chicken, because we are plant-based, we're doing cauliflower. Nice. So, we have our marinated cauliflower. We have our cornstarch, which we're gonna use as part of the breading. And then we have here Japanese-style breadcrumbs, which I've seasoned with salt, pepper, celery salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and some um, turmeric for color, all right? And then for our sauce, since we're doing pancakes, you know, waffles, that idea of brunch, um, I wanted to do the sauce a little bit sweet savory. So we have jalapenos, scallion whites, shallots, and then for our garnish, we have the scallion greens, right, which is the bottom part of the scallions, the darker part. And then right in here, this lovely little concoction. It's sesame oil, poison sauce, pancake syrup, maple syrup, AKA maple syrup, um, and crunchy chili oil. Right, and crunchy chili oil just simply means uh, dried chilies that they use to make the chili oil. All right, and some of them come with peanuts in it. So um, if you are a tree nut or you know peanut allergies, um, you just want to read the label. The brand I use for this crunchy chili oil, it's called uh, Logan Ma. It is so delicious. It's amazing. It packs a punch. So let's 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 cook this bad boy up. All right. Okay, so in here we have our marinated cauliflower, right? So this is the jalapenos, shallots, fresh thyme, all right, the milk, the mustard, all that good stuff. So we're gonna just take this out and we're gonna batter it so that way the breadcrumbs can stick on. So into cornstarch like this, right? Just to give it that initial coating and then right back into the milk, marinate and then into the breadcrumbs like this, right? Thanks, babe. And then this goes right into our oil that's been getting hot and ready. You wanna make sure that your breadcrumbs kinda packs on there so it gives it a really nice coat. Our oil is ready, so we're gonna just let that fry nice and slowly. We wanna be very gentle putting it into the oil because we don't wanna get a lot of the breadcrumbs off, okay? So this oil right now, it's at about medium flame. And I'm gonna just do the rest of these. Mm. I like the fact that you season the breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs with, like you said, salt and pepper. Salt, and pepper, turmeric, onion powder, garlic powder, all that good stuff. So that gives it, um, you know, it gives it an extra layer of seasoning. Say flavor enhancers garlic powder and onion powder are so potent and you can get them on the website and use code Sheffy to get 20% off. Yeah, girl. Knifeandspoon.com. K-N-I-F-E-N and then S-P-O-O-N. You got a sweetheart. So, pan, about a tablespoon of butter for our aromatics, for our sauce, right? So right into our warm pan, we're gonna add our shallots, jalapenos, and scallions. Okay, and we're gonna saute it. So in here we have our aromatics, which is the shallots, scallions, and jalapenos. We're just sauteing this really quickly. 
to get a little bit of color on it. Then we're gonna add our sauce mixture here that we spoke about earlier. All right, all this chili goodness. Let's 
cauliflower situation. It's crispy. It's delicious. I love. Oh man. Chef use Dwayne Wade's wine, the white wine, to deglaze. Oh, did I say? Am I saying it right? Good. To deglaze. Good job. The sauce. Mm. Ah! <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to use the wrong terminology. Are so you the one to deglaze the aromatics? To deglaze the aromatics? Guys. Which, which is the shallots? When I tell you, what's up, guys? Mm. Yeah. This is not chicken. This is cauliflower. So good. Mm. Guys. What's up, people? All right. So this is a, a totally sweet and savory dish. You know, we took our brunch mix which is a pancake and waffle mix. And we made it into um, some delicious mm. chicken and waffles, which there isn't either one of those. <laughs> so it's actually cauliflower and pancakes. This would be a cool dish to make your loved ones on Valentine's morning. You're like, hey baby, you know? Mm, delicious, this is delicious, I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. No, the pancakes are not cauliflower. The pancakes are right here. 